Okay, um, I haven't made a video in a very, very long time. Um, I just, I just haven't, but I saw something about five minutes ago that I just have to talk about because it's probably one of the most appalling things I've ever seen in my life. Um, CNN has a, a video up on their website about, the title is, um, Why CNN Chose to take pictures of dying man and um, I clicked on it and I started to watch the video and it's essentially they're trying to defend why they had cameramen in Haiti recording within a few feet of these people um, men that had been shot in the back and were spewing out blood <clears throat> on the street like shaking violently like they're dying and CNN is trying to defend this saying you know it's important that we get the, the message out there you know the reporters are talking and they're obviously you know they're being interviewed like they're, they're CNN says it's like a debriefing it's I just honestly like I saw that and I honestly was was shaking I was shaking like because I just I just could not believe like We've gotten to a level of desensitization that I have never, ever seen. Like, I don't ever remember this even existing before. Like, there's a level of censorship that I feel like is necessary. Um, I know censorship, I'm not for censorship for the most part, but there's a certain type of what I would say would be, like, public... I don't even know what I would call it. I'm honestly so frazzled right now. I, I guess I would call it, like, public... Um, like preservation type um, censorship where like for the public good you would not show people just being killed on, on main you wouldn't mainstream that type of stuff on television and I just I think it's unbelievable and I think that the way they're dealing with the situation is just reprehensible it's I just I can't even honestly I can't even get a concrete grasp on it um I really hope that you guys can hear me, like, I don't know, my microphone's not that good, but it's just unbelievable, like, um, it reminds me of something that I saw in high school. In high school we talked about, <clears throat> I believe it was either, I think it was my psychology class, um, there's a 1993 Sudanese photo taken by a guy, um, I don't remember his name, it was Kevin, last name was C something, I don't even know, but... He took a photo in Sudan of this girl who was curled up and dying in Africa. Um, and there was a vulture next to her, and he just... He told the, the, the press that he had been um, waiting around for... Essentially for her to die. Um, and it just... It, it sparked this huge controversy. And I just want to relate this incident to that, but on an even worse scale. Um, and I'll tell you why. One, okay, this is, you know, over a decade ago. One, that was a picture, okay. Two, the girl was emaciated, but she wasn't actually um, dying, like, immediately. Like, it was a process of her trying to get to a food, food bank or something. And whereas this situation was, um, these men were actually, like, spewing out blood on the street and dying and, like, going through the final stages of their... Like, their body was actually shutting down, and, and, um, I don't know, I just, like, it just blows my mind, because, like, the, all they do is, like, they, f and, and then the third thing is that, that was a picture, I think I said this, on, on, and this is a film, they're filming this, and they're right in these men's faces. I'm gonna include the link to the video so you can see that, um, it's, I, I actually couldn't watch, um, after the first, like, three minutes, I just listened to the rest of it. Um, because it was just, I, I don't like seeing stuff like that, so, um, and I know that there's, you know, going to be a whole backlash saying that people need to see this, saying that it's, you know, it's a freedom that we need to, you know, understand, blah de blah but, um, it gets to a level where I feel like the media has lost all humanity, and I've been reading up on what other people have been saying, and a lot of people have been saying that, um, they believe that it's like self-promotion and a really good, ch not good term, but a term that I really thought did a, was a good description was, um, what was it? It was, 
oh, disaster porn, which is essentially what this is. It's used for shock value. Um, and there's a whole backlash on Twitter. There's a whole backlash blogging in the blogging sphere just saying that CNN and I guess MSNBC, which I don't know about, but CNN is just exploiting Haitians. I mean, they're just showing death, death, death. They're going down there. They're getting up in all these situations, you know, just filming, like, just people dying. And I just, it just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. And I really want to hear what people think. I really want to hear what you guys think. And I really hope this gets out there because it's just unbelievable. You know, it's, it's just, it's so ironic. It's kind of funny that, like, we discussed this at my high school, how, um, just media and the, the sensitivity and how we just like, for shock value, we just desensitize the hell out of people through through the media. And it's just unbelievable and it's just gotten worse and worse. I mean like, what else What else is there to, to, to show? You know, people are saying you're, you're taking away the only thing that people have left in a disaster, which is their dignity. And that is completely true. When you film someone dying and then you you publish that, I, I just, it just, when you broadcast that, and then you defend it, which is just like, who that is not the right thing for them to be doing right now. Um, you know, these, these, it's just unbelievable. These reporters, if you listen to what they're saying in this video that I'm going to put the link to, um, they're just defending it, saying it's, you know, like it's, it was rightful. You know what I mean? And there's just no emotion in, in what they're saying. It's just unbelievable. So I hope this gets out there, my message, and I really hope, I want to see what you guys think. So.